Well, hello. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. We are here on the patio grilling some burgers. Uh, just rain, so things are still kind of wet. There goes the storm and a rainbow. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh, look at that rainbow. <sighs> rainbow. Rainbow pie. So, yeah. Figured we'd do a, a nice little feast. So, of course, I got some Prost Dunkel, good beer, German style dark lager. I've got some corn on the cob I'm about to throw on there. And I know this was probably more expensive to do it this way than to cut it myself, but whatever. We have some mm, onions, lettuce, and tomato. Also, have some sauteed mushrooms inside. So I'm going to throw those on the burger as well. And of course we got our bun ton and pepper jack cheese. So this will be an interesting burger. The burgers are known as Boom. They are bacon cheddar burgers. Yum. So good. I'm excited for this. But let me turn this guy down. Turn that guy down. Clean it a little bit. There we go. Now, I don't usually grill corn, so this will be interesting. I'm just going to throw it, throw that on the floor. I hate that. We are going to rip some of this crap off. All right. Throw that on there. There we go. Pick you up. So yeah, it's been a fantastic weekend. Did the uh, Arapahoe County Fair. Got a little, a little drunk yesterday. Whoops. Trying to see something. Huh. Give me a moment. I'm going to put the beer here. I'll be right back. Kitty. All right, just had to check on something real quick, and we are good to go. Look at that sun setting. I always I for, keep forgetting it gets darker earlier now, and it's twenty till eight. So we shall see. We shall see how this goes. I'm going to go get my corn teeth. I'll be back in a second. There we go. Hey, everybody. You're pretty. Picked up sweet corn, so don't need any butter or anything for it. It's just good to go now. It'll be delicious. Speaking of delicious. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Salou. Cheers. This is such a good beer. Nice dark beer from Denver. I have not been to their brewery, but I've heard their brewery is really cool. It's a lot of fun to go to. Check on the grill. Probably even just turn that off. Put the house on. There we go. We're gonna slow cook that corn just with the heat. Hopefully, I get it. <laughs> it's burning in there. Oops. You know, a lot of people grill 
grow it with the husk and on, but I don't know. Well, glad I looked what I did. It's starting to smell burning. No, oh, no, man. It's on fire. It's like popcorn, baby. Mmm. Alrighty. Just go grab the mushrooms. Look at these, look at these things. So good. Sauteed mushrooms. Not a lot. I could have done the whole thing, but I can't stop eating them. Oh, so good. Heck yeah. So I'll keep those in the house for now. Mm -hmm. Probably throw the burger on in a few minutes. Roll that bad boy up. Num, 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 num. Yeah, buddy. And airplanes are taking off my direction again. It's that storm that just passed. Crazy. Crazy how that works. Southwest plane was hauling ass. Vegas or Phoenix, somewhere that direction. That's cool. Oh yeah, but I did survive the fair. Like I said, I was so drunk it was bad. Um, but I didn't go to jail. <laughs> I behaved myself, didn't get in a fight or anything. So that's good. Very, very good. Ten ounce hamburger fixins. <laughs> that's what it's called, fixins. Oh, that's so good. Hamburger fixins. Oh man, this paint. Is... That's, this is crap. Crap paint job. So bad. I knew it would be when they did it a few years ago. I'm like, uh, that's not how you should be doing it. Okay. So I move down. Get these bad boys ready. Throw you on. Yeah, buddy. Throw you on. Where are these sizes? I don't think they're 10 ounces. I don't think they're bigger. Yeah. I don't know. They're 7 ounce. Not bad. Not bad at all. These will fit perfect with it. Actually, I kind of want to dig into it a little bit. Need a little bit of onion. Yum. Yum yum. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. As you guys can see, I love my hamburgers. Probably my favorite food. Best food ever. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bailey. I don't know where my slipper is. Hold on. Oh, man. But yeah, today's been a huge recovery day from yesterday. I mean, last night this time. I was already filling the beer. I was already 
It's already pretty damn drunk. But it was a blast. I will definitely go back next year if I'm in town. If not Florida, I'll find I'll find a zip of food for us to go to. Hmm. I gotta stop snacking because I've got a lot of food. A lot of food. Yep, yeah, really both burgers. I'm gonna take one to work tomorrow. I have another corner of the cob. I'll just probably microwave it at work. Yeah. Corn's working too, huh, buddy? He's like, I'm gonna eat all that corn. Nope, you get none of it. Although, you're gonna watch me bur probably burn my fingers a little bit, peeling it. Oops, didn't really think about that. Mm. But yeah, it's a beautiful evening. Here in late July, early August. The summers here are incredible. I mean, with this sun angle. Hopefully, I can get it. Uh, airplane up there. Clouds here are phenomenal. You don't really see too many places with clouds this pristine in the world. And that, that tree is just glowing. That's hot. It's glowing. It's a glowing tree. But, yeah, I'll probably just kind of keep it pretty mellow today, the rest of today. Um, there we go. Got kind of dark on me. But, yeah, I think the rest of the evening I'm just going to chill. I just felt like, you know, hanging out with you guys. I wanted to do a stream at the fairgrounds, but I was getting like .01 up. And I'm like, yeah, there's no way. I can even make a phone call out there. So, with that being said, man, yeah, <laughs> that sucked. Sorry, I got lost in the thought. I've had a time <laughs> in the past. Don't know if I want to talk about it here. It's not bad. I mean, nothing horrible happened. It was just one of those, one of those things that's like I'm an idiot. We are getting there. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how the corn is doing. Got to put it more. There. Put it more towards the fire and see how that goes. There goes a United flight. Sucks that they're. Uh, Airplanes are taking off this way, but okay. It's kind of fun to watch them. But they all seem to be going. So many going southwest. So. 
they all can't be going to Vegas or LA or San Diego. There's another one. Man, they're just one after another after another. Never thought Saturday nights were such high traffic nights for airplanes, but here we are. The one plane after another. So nothing new about Florida. I did talk to a guy here who flips houses and I kind of gave him some information about my house and I said and he's like well what are you looking to get for it and I said somewhere between this number and that number he's like I could probably make that work yeah I could probably do that definitely you know that sounds like even though it sounds like there's ten to ten to twelve thousand dollars worth of you know, repairs or, or, you know, just modernizing it. He's like, I could, I could probably do that. And to me, the number that, you know, I kind of went towards the little bit of the higher. And he's like, I might be able to do that. It's all under 200, which is fine. I mean, I paid less than 70 for this place. So I'm sitting here I'm thinking, perfect. Because in a dream world, I'll get this Florida job. And I'll just get cash for this place, and it, they'll be able to put just cash down on a house in Florida, and I'm looking to put maybe a hundred and fifty thousand down on it. Well, if I do that with what I should be making with that job, I easily could afford a three hundred thousand dollar home, maybe a little bit higher. But I don't want to go that. I just don't want a huge mortgage. So it's like, all right, I really have to just kind of stay in my means. Hey, Sting, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Happy grilling day. Speaking of which, I should probably check on the uh, my hamburgers and, and the corn. Oh yeah, lots of pink coming out of the burgers. Perfect. Woo! Flame on. I think I just lost some arm hair. I can't afford to do that. I don't have much as is. <laughs> but I'm doing well, man. Uh, cheers. Drinking a Prost Dunkel out of Denver, Colorado. Very, very good, authentic German brewery outside of Germany. This is probably as close to a German beer as you'll get without being in Germany. So I've had a lot of friends who have been to Germany and I had them try a Prost, one of their beers, and they're like, oh my God, this is dead on. So yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. We gotta check on this flame. It's not pretty, pretty big. In my corn a little bit. I don't know if my corn will get fully cooked here. We'll find out. Yeah. Oh, I I believe it. I know. I know all of uh, Western Europe is just frying right now, man. You know, stay cool. You know, just stay inside. If you want to grill, you can go out and grill. But have yourself a nice cold beer and hang out and enjoy yourself. Mmm. But, yeah, I got a lot of little stuff for my burger. Keep eating onions. I love onions. I've got sauteed mushrooms in the uh, kitchen. I have already done, so I'm gonna pile this burger up really high. Oh, I know that's the thing. I've I know I've got friends in England and Ireland, Norway. So I, I yeah, it's just they keep saying it's so hot. This is horrible. When they convert the temperature to Fahrenheit, and even in their homes, they're like 89 degrees in their house or 84 degrees in their house. And I'm like, that sucks. 
Now I got a couple hamburger patties on the on the grill and uh, corn on the cob, which hopefully I can get that cooked. I've never never grilled a corn corn physically on a grill. I usually just wrap it up and throw it in the microwave for like two minutes and it's done. But I figured I kinda want that smoky goodness tonight with it. Check the patties. Woo! Still pretty pink. Oh, that one's getting cooked quick. And if I do move, I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna throw away this grill and just get a new one in Florida if I, if I do make that move because this, this grill would not make it there in one piece. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're weird here. We're one of the only countries that uses Fahrenheit and miles per hour. So... I mean... To me, it's like there's no right or wrong from them. There's no, neither way is better than the other. It's just, I'm accustomed to miles per hour and Fahrenheit, and I know you are kilometers and Celsius. Even, I think even measuring for like food, it's different too. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, we're so, it's just kind of like we're limited with things here. But our cars do have, um, miles per hour and kilometers per hour I don't know if cars in Europe has both kilometers and mph <coughs> but yeah it's it's weird here for sure mmm that doesn't sound good it's because I need to just start moving you off the fire how about that <laughs> oh yeah that's interesting at this point you would think the US would put both you know 50 miles per hour and whatever it converts to and you know yeah I just think it just needs to be universal but Unfortunately, it's just, it's too far gone here, you know, I don't think they could ever change it, like, same with, like, the drinking age anymore, it's always going to be 21 here, and the age to buy cigarettes is 18, but now a lot of places won't sell tobacco or vaping stuff to anyone under 21, and I'm sitting here like, but the law states it's 18, so you're basically saying, you know, you're, we refuse your, your rights in this. It's, it's stupid. Okay, barbecue. We're focused. No, I agree with you. It needs to be settled. Um, even in Canada, it's. Yeah, it's. It was weird. I went to Victoria, British Columbia. I was looking at the street sign. I was like, it just doesn't look right to me, but it's right. Yeah, I know, but it's like a lot of countries are 16 and 18, but they're so accustomed to that being a drinking age. No, I'm not Canadian. I just visited a... Uh, uh, British or yeah British Columbia a few years ago very briefly no I'm I'm this I'm American so I have my flag up from the fourth I'll probably take it down at the end of July was that good catch I got a hungry cat he's <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, I have it up for the 4th, and I'll put it up for other federal holidays here. It's not mandatory. I'll just, you know, I just do it. Too. Unfortunately, I am in Colorado, just outside the my eye city, man. But no, I mean the outside of Denver, Colorado. Man, these burgers—they're almost done. I'll move that over. <laughs> yeah, I mean we have some awesome skies here, especially at like sunset. Burger one, burger two. I mean, I'll show you the skies real quick. There we go. That's kind of that's about north, and that's east. That's south. We had storms just roll through about half an hour ago, and got some good sky here. I love it. This is what I'm going to miss if or when I do leave this state. Oh, and oh, man, yeah. They're, they're lush for about five months a year, four months a year, and after that, it's just horrible to look at them. They're just dead, dead trees, no leaves. But, yep. Well, the sky's perfect. I love being out on my... Uh, on my patio around this time at sunset in the summer and I come out here in the winter too especially when there's like a meteor shower because I get a great view of the sky here I see I can see a bunch of stars but yeah summers are my favorite times to be out here I know I keep flipping the burgers but that is just how I grill and I always grill a really good burger. So, I don't know if the corn is going to turn out though. I might bite into it and be like, raw, <laughs> crud. Some lettuce. What are you doing, kitty? What? What? He used to have a cat. He passed away a couple of months ago, but he was—he would always hang out up here when I'm grilling and whatnot. And just kind of sit here and just kind of look off at everything. I miss that guy. He was a sweet boy, a good kitty, nice cat, loved everybody. Neighbors just rolled up in their in their jeep. <laughs> After this one, I've got four left of my six pack, but since I do home brewing, I think I'm gonna keep this bottle, but after this one, I think I'll have, well, I'll have 18 bottles. I don't need any more bottles other than that. Awesome, yeah, I'll show you. Maybe Bailey will let me pick him up. Hey, buddy, hi. Just real quick, yeah, he won't do it, nope. Maybe you saw him real quick. He doesn't like to be held. Mojo was always about being held, being close. He was a caring, caring cat. Let's put these over here. Turn that way down. Corn right there. Hopefully the husk doesn't just... Hopefully I don't burn my house down. He does like to be free. Oh yeah, he's very healthy he is just turned one a couple months ago so he's a little baby i have another cat inside she's about to be nine in october and she's not very healthy she's really fat her fur is matted and not fun not fun at all hold on let me grab my let me grab my bottle opener i'll be right back
<laughs> yeah, that's my neighbor's dog. And here's a sauteed it. I don't know how well you can see it's a mushroom. I sauteed it in butter. Oh. I love sauteed mushrooms. Alrighty, let's see how everything's going. And there's still lots of, they're almost done. The burgers are almost there. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Uh, they're not good dog owners. <clears throat> Their dog can be kind of a, a bitch. She's not very nice. Okay, there's another sky shot. Hmm bird flying by wait a few minutes the sky is going to be purple and and pink so ooh I've never done it with garlic oh I should have done that I think I have some garlic that would have been good Um, grab a couple of these bad boys. One, some cheese, some pepper jack cheese. I like it spicy. Put this back in the refrigerator, make it easier for later. Oh, uh, yeah, the sunset's about the set it is. I'll convert it. 20? Yeah, 20 hundred. So, also known as 8 p.m. Yeah, we'll go after 8 p.m. here. So, this, this is perfect timing because it's going to get really dark quick. Probably go ahead and do this. Turn off the gas. All right. Put the cheese on the burgers. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh, Asp I've no, I've n actually I've never been Aspen. I've been close to Aspen. <clears throat> but no, I've never been to Aspen. It's just it's too crowded. Uh people are too snobby and it's too expensive. But I've been to Breckenridge, I've been to Vail, Keystone, um, Winter Park. Um, those are places I've skied. I've been up to Lead. Leadville is the highest city in the continental United States, I think. It's up there. Mm. So, yeah, it's very much up there in altitude. It is. Aspen's definitely for rich tourists who are probably coming from California. Oh, cougars. Yeah, mountain lions, not cougars. I thought you were talking about cougars. <laughs> like, ooh, older women, cougar. No, we do have mountain lions. There's mountain lion issues. We have coyote issues where I live, raccoon issues, uh, foxes. There's a lot of them around, but they're not very problematic like the coyotes are and the raccoons are. <clears throat> Alrighty. Watch yourself, kitty. I don't want to step on you. Right. 
funny where it put the pizza on it. Some crap. <coughs> Cheese really isn't melting. Yeah, it's almost like lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! But no, it's <laughs> uh, not in my area. But if I go out over towards like Boulder and over towards where the mountains are, then yes, they have bear issues. Luckily, I don't. The scariest animal I've ever seen was a, a deer losing its mind, and it busted through a neighbor's chain link fence and charged at me. This was this is 16 years ago. So that was scary. And I've seen coyotes around and, you know, foxes around. It's just, you know, you, you mark that they're there. You see that they're there, but you just walk around them and don't pose any threat. Just kind of make, make sure they are able to recognize, okay, this human is going way away from me. They're not a threat. I'm not going to harass them. So, we have skunks out here, prairie dogs. Hey, Sarge, how are you? How you doing, man? It's been a while. I'm just hoping I can get my, uh, all right, Jesus. Melty, not fully melted, but melty. So that's one burger. This is gonna be a mess. That's two burgers. Let's focus on the burgers. Ooh. Here we go with the sunset. I hear a plane, I don't see it. Here we go, ready? Here comes the sunset. Look at that sky. It's only going to get prettier. You can see out there, out there, some orange in the sky and purple up there. A little bit of pink. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, uh oh. There we go. Okay, I'm back. So, I might stream a video game later. We'll see. If I eat, when I eat all this food, I might just want to go, go to bed. <laughs> I might get sleepy. I, I'm back to work tomorrow. We're still, I'm still working Sunday through Thursday, but mid-August that changes. I'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday every week, and then every other Friday. So I'll be off of work every Sunday and Monday, and twice a month I'll have a three-day weekend, and twice a month I'll, I'll work a day or have a day off, work a day, and then have two days off, which. I'm very thrilled about because my boss knows. You know, I, I watch a lot of American football and, and and NASCAR, and those always fall on Sundays. So my boss wants me to be able to do that. She also knows I like to spend time with my mom, and Sundays are the only days that she is really available. I don't need any more of that. Get this lettuce. Kids screaming, guys, sorry. I don't hear it anymore. I work with kids every day at work, so I hear the kids screaming. I think nothing of it. Um, I might not be able to do my sauteed mushrooms. Oh, look, there's the burgers. Ready? Look at that. Patty, cheese, onion, lettuce, tomato, lid. There we go. Man, that's a big boy. So I'm going to do this. I'll be right back. I'm going to take this inside, bring up the mushrooms, put them on the side. Probably take this with me inside. Reseal it. Backup beer. Always got to have a backup. Cheers. Look at this. I'm trying to make this work. Push that in a little bit. 
one, two, three, four, I think five might be good. <laughs> five, twelve, we'll little guy. Six. There we go. Mmm. And the sauteed mushrooms. Boom. There we go. Wow. That's that's a big boy burger right there. You don't get that at McDonald's. <laughs> Alrighty. Time to make us a mess. Grab the corn. There's a corn. Kind of bust this a little bit, pull that back as much. Ugh. Woof! Hot. I knew I was gonna burn my fingers a little bit. It's okay. Woof. Put that there. I don't mind some of the grizzle. Oh, it's still. Kind of. Dang it, I probably won't be able to eat this. Ugh. Hold on, let's take a bite. There we go. It's good there. Let's try down here. Mm. Need another couple of minutes. Hold on, I'm going to take this inside too. Leave that there for now. And now, the moment of truth. Burger time, baby. There you go. Big old big boy burger. Mm hmm? Mm. That's a good burger. Oh, we missed the sunset. Alrighty. And you're going to see purple clouds. There it is. That The sun has now set behind the mountains. You see a little bit of uh, light hitting the very, very high clouds. Got some more over there. But that's it for the sunset. It's occurred. So. Now I need to eat relatively quickly um but we might end when it's pitch black out so you may barely see me mm. i don't know where you live or i do but here you guys go here, this is a easily an $8 burger, $10 burger. Mmm. That's good. What? Good news. All the kids that have been inhabiting the library for the last nine weeks go back to school in a week. I cannot wait. Um, there's going to be a lot of relief from me. I mean, I think at that time I'm probably going to try to cut way back on my alcohol intake. Like tonight if I do stream... I will be playing House Flipper because I have one. More, I think I have one more Garden Flipper uh, thing to complete, and I'll be drinking, <clears throat> excuse me, Gatorade while playing that. So let's be honest, Gatorade's a hell of a lot cheaper than beer. Even cream soda or root beer is a hell of a lot cheaper than beer. I went to the brewery tonight and I think I had 
I gotta think. I have four beers. Pay for two. Because I'm a mug club member, so got my ticket full, so I got a free four. And the guy sitting next to me, I was talking to him about helping me if I if I do move to Florida, would he be willing to purchase my home knowing that there's a lot of work to be done? And he said, I I have picked he was like I've you know purchased some absolutely disgusting places. And I said, Well mine's not the best because of Stella, she shits on the floor. But he's like that could be cleaned up very pretty well. I would have to probably rip out the carpeting and thoroughly clean the baseboards before I refloor it. He said, but you pretty much do that anyways when you're buying a uh, you know a home quickly. And here comes a bite. Mmm. There we go. Oh, there's some sky. That's pretty. Right there. That's pretty. Let's see my hand. There it is. That's pretty. Mmm. If any of you guys watched my video on my YouTube channel of um, the fairgrounds. <laughs> I kind of called Aurora a shithole, but with due reason. There's some more sunset. Can't really zoom in with this. That's unfortunate. Oh well, there you go. Some more sky. Probably the last shot of the sky. There's the American flag with... Here you go. Here's America right here. Burger, American flag, good beer, right there. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can't. Alrighty, I might have gotten a screenshot with that. We'll see. And now back to the main event, eating burger. Mm. I love grilling burgers. Like, there's a smidge of pink in there, but nothing bad. Take a bite of the corn. It's not stuck in my teeth. Oh man. There we go. It worked. I grilled the corn. And this is some really good corn. A it's it's sweet corn that comes out once a year here. This is good. Now, in August, we have corn that's called Olath corn. <coughs> or Olatha, from Olatha, Colorado. And it's it is very sweet. It has like a high sugary taste to it because initially the crops kind of freeze a little bit. Not like a hard, hard freeze, but they freeze a little bit and that gives it like some sort of like a sugary taste. So that's some good corn and it sounds like they're going to have a huge abundance of it this year since we had such a cold spring long winter so I'm looking forward to that for sure mm. good 
this is this is a good dinner I am very happy with this Mm -hmm. I'm like holding on. <laughs> Sorry, I sounded really drunk there. The food in my mouth. I'm really rolling. But no, that's so good. I have to go like this. Hold on to the balcony. Whoa, it's so yummy. Burgers starting to fall apart. Could only imagine if I put condiments on it. This. Would have been such a mess, that's why I just went with this. Hey, Ricky Aria. Mmm. Just finishing up a uh, chilling and grilling stream. Good and. Okay, I see where we're going. I'm doing really good too. Drinking a shrimp prost. It's called a Dunkel, which is a German style dark lager. About five and a half percent, so it's not like woo, but it's it's really good. Really, really good. Hmm. Uh. I forget how early it's not early, it's eight thirty, but the sun Sun sat sun went behind the mountains about I don't know, twenty minutes ago. I'm gonna give you a little panoramic of the Colorado sky. If it picks it up. Kind of. See some fiery over there. There we go. Yep, sunset in the Rockies. Kind of, I gotta get kind of low. It's not really picking up. There's a cloud right there that's just totally orange. Oh well, didn't really pick her up. That's fine. Ugh, there we go. But now yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish up this. Uh, Uh, finish up my dinner uh, definitely take a break oh shit yeah it's just uh, Stingray I don't know if you're still here or Sting sorry Finity sorry for going to Stingray he lives in uh, the Netherlands and he said it was 40 Celsius today I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on with Europe, but they are just burning alive. Today, we were about 90 was our high temperature when I was mowing my mom's yard. Extremely hungover from, from uh, the brew fest yesterday. So it was like, I was like trying to get through her yard as fast as I can. Her yard usually takes about 40 minutes. I blew through that thing in less than a half an hour. I'm like, I'm done. I think my phone registered my steps at 28 minutes. I was like, I gotta get through it and get done. But yeah, it was 90 Fahrenheit today. And right now it's 70 Fahrenheit. So it's just, this is perfect. This is definitely late summer, late-ish summer in Colorado. Yeah, the air is phenomenal right now. I love it. Hmm. I'm a little corny right now. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Um, let me try to get my chat full back to where it should be. Oh shoot, I just lost chat. Uh oh. Come on, come on. 
There we go. Yeah. I did. Um, I was really good. I liked it, but it just seemed like a, and I don't want to sound like a jerk because I can't, I'm not good at remixing. I do, I used to do a lot of re-edits, but it was like the DB song or something was just so consistent throughout it. Like, and my thought was, man, if he could, if you could have just dropped it, kind of take it down for like 15, 20, 30 seconds and then bring it back in. I think it was the beat that was just like the whole time. Just a few could have just like, you know, lowered the beat, let the melody take over a little bit. Holy crap. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Like all of your work, man. I love all your work. You do a really good job with remixes. Um, obviously I didn't get all the husk hair oops Ugh. wows I don't know well, look at the time I actually tonight might head back up to dry dock um for a quick pint and some cornhole. I played Scott cornhole last night when I was trash. And today, when he walked into work, I was like, did we play cornhole last night? He's like, yeah. I said, and? He's like, dude, those, he's like, those, you know, they were, they were like, they were way far away. They were more, well, like, a hell of a lot further than they should have been. He's like, Dude, you just kept sticking it on the board. He's like, I kept coming up like five feet short. And I'm like, because we're used to 26 feet apart with the cornhole boards, not 35. I'm like, dude, I was like winging it. So we played today. He ended up beating me 21 to 1. It was not one of my best showings, but that's okay. No, yeah, I get it too. I mean, there's yeah, a lot of songs that's just so consistent through it. But um, I think the favorite one I did was Armin Van Buren's "Coming Home." I found years ago when the song was came out was really popular. A guy did just the guitar solo. That was it. That's all you would hear was the guitar. So what I did was. I contacted him and said, hey, I would like to take your guitar solo and use it in a re-edit of Armin Van Buren's version with Eller, his brother on guitar, to emphasize the guitar and kind of take some of your sound that wasn't in the song because I really think it would be awesome. And the guy was fully behind it. He just said, send me a downloadable link to it and you're golden. And I did, and when he first heard it, he was like, holy crap, so. Yeah. So, a lot of times in my DJ sets, I try to at least include Coming Home by Armin Van Buren. If not, make that my last track. Um, and now, my version of it has an astronomical amount it's huge that means it's phenomenally huge sorry um but it has so much meaning to me that was the last song i listened to with mojo the night before he passed away so that song just <clears throat> has a hell of a lot more meaning than it did before and before it was like this is such a beautiful song and now it's like this is a very important song to me Mm. Oh, Ricky, is Ryan still alive or did he end his stream? I'm looking at my one. It looks like he's still alive. Yeah, 154 people. Damn, Ryan. Damn, son. Hmm. <laughs>
All right, yeah, I'll probably hop in for a little bit. Watch him stream a little more. Uh, run back up to the brewery. They close. They close in about an hour and a half tonight. So <clears throat> we'll go up there. <clears throat> probably have one more pint to end the week. Uh, one of my favorite people in the world is working tonight, Ron. He he just, and I say that in quotes because he's partially retired. At the high school I graduated from, he and I missed each other in the hallway by two months. I graduated, and then the fall after I graduated, he started teaching. So we have a really good connection there. We know it's just, you know, I always gripe on Eagle Crest, my old high school, and he just stands there and says, I'm, I'm not going to say you're wrong, but yep, you're right, Ricky. I'm heading out myself. This has been a lot of fun, guys. I love, love, love our patio sessions together, as we may call it now. I love hanging out with you guys on the chatio patio. Tonight was fun, man. That burger and the corn was awesome. But... I will see you all next time. Take care.